this is me trying to figure out how to use this um, follow me part of this mini 4 pro drone I have to say it is the most superb piece of kit I've ever come across having flown drones for quite a few years I've never come across anything in such a small package that can do so much so I'm just having a go at this so I'm down at Eastbourne Beach just halfway between the marina and the pier just trying this um, system out and checking out the zoom and everything like that just to see how it all works and I'm no good at talking on camera going fast I think I zoom in on this to check out the three times zoom see how good it is or we'll soon find out or maybe I did check I wasn't looking at the screen when I zoomed in <laughs> let's see what happens lovely morning this is 9 30 on Monday morning down at Eastbourne Beach here we go zooming out they're just generally messing about with it trying to figure out how it will work a few boats here sitting on the beach I'm searching for myself now I'm here somewhere there I am 72 years old flying with a DJI Mi 4 Pro for the first time well a couple of times now but a proper go down on the beach I came down here the other day to have a go and realized I didn't have a clue what I was doing with the settings of it. but after watching tutorial after tutorial after tutorial on YouTube I got down the beach the other day and completely forgot how to set it up to follow me I had to go and watch it again oh Christ sake, it's so simple draw a box around me open up the track active tracking mode so this is me having a go active tracking and then I have a go at um, getting it to do all the different sideway views of me by using the little icon on the bottom left hand side of the screen so I had a go that was my right in front of me behind me to my left I had a go at turning round facing it to see if it knew that I'd turn round and that it did it scooted off round to my side and I figure it's just looking at your face because every time I looked at it it moved away maybe I just scared it I don't know <laughs> it seems to be working really really well really impressive and it was quite windy now you could never tell from this video footage how windy it is And when I look at this video of me, you realise, well, you don't realise, how old you suddenly look without even noticing it. And well, there you go, 72 years old, still playing with me toys. Um, as you can tell, I suffer from sunburn, I get burnt really badly. Nothing I can do about it. Factor 50 like lotion on. I'm a mess. So anyway, we're going to go down to the edge of the water now and walk down to where the tide's gone out slightly. It might still be going out. It could have been coming in. I don't know. But so I'm on the sandy part, and I instantly get a pebble in my shoe. And now I start pretending to be a chicken trying to get the pebble out. <laughs> Anyway, give up, take your shoe off. And off we go. So, yes, yeah, so I'm just walking along the flat part of the beach here. Every time I look at it, the thing scoots around. So, that's obviously tra active tracking to my right hand side. And then I um, scoot it round to the other side. I think we can see the little icon down the bottom left hand side of the screen it shows that I'm tracking myself from the right hand side and as you change direction 
it automatically goes around the other side of you because it knows it's meant to be tracking from the right hand side it's so clever so so clever so I will move the little icon in a minute and it will just scoot round to wherever I move it to and that's on the inner circle so it's low level and reasonably close the outer circle takes it further away bigger radius and higher and I think in the settings I can change the height and the distance I'll have to look at that as I say I'm only just learning about this thing I've already got some good videos with this drone but this is my first attempt at playing with the active track there you go scooting around there so I've told it to go around 45 degrees to my right hand side no left hand side sorry and it will there you go scoot round to my left hand side and it will just stay there as I say it's a very windy day it kept getting blown slightly off course I think because every time I looked at it it moved back so I'm figuring I figure it might be looking at your face tracking your face rather than your whole body maybe I didn't um, highlight enough of me I don't know but it's super clever I'm not switched it off there yeah it's very impressive very impressive indeed at that point I've switched it off on here at this point here you can still see I've got the I'm still highlighted and I'm trying to get rid of the active tracks icon on the bottom of the screen there and I think well, what the hell and it suddenly clicked I've got to click the little green X which is by the side of my head there I was desperately trying to get it to stop following me so I couldn't get it to rotate manually and I thought why why can't I rotate it no matter what I did I could make it go up and down couldn't stop it from rotating and then it dawned on me I've got to click the green X which is up by my head there you go oh, gone now I've got full control of the uh, drone again very very impressive piece of kit well worth the money if you've got some money to throw away it's well worth looking into this I absolutely love it so I'll be out playing with this very soon trying to figure out different places I can go and film with it take the dogs out do a bit of active tracking with the dogs that will confuse the poor drone because it will, well I don't know if it will pick up on the dogs because they're too manic we'll just have to see anyway this is coming to a conclusion this video so I'm going to stop recording now and see if I can figure out how to put this audio file on to this video. Thank you for watching.